Hello everybody and welcome back to episode number two of the Motorsport Manager NASCAR owner career here on the channel. So it's a little bit different. I actually had to completely restart after the last episode and that's simply because I am really stupid and I recorded race number one without actually recording. So I had to completely restart. We got the car back, some different sponsors on the car, but I did manage to get Carl Edwards and Alex Bowman like we were originally going for and then I also was able to get Brian Vickers as our reserve driver and I signed them all to just one season deals the 2016 season and then after this season we're going to reevaluate everything about where you know the team is at and whatnot I didn't really upgrade the pit crew and stuff but really the main goal is to just get through this first race today and just kind of get an evaluation of where this team is at and then we're going to make the necessary adjustments here with the uh, headquarters and stuff and whatnot so this first episode like I said just kind of a learning uh, situation now so we're going to continue and get ready to get going here to travel up to Phoenix very shortly now uh, so excited to get this first race going and here we are now having to set up everything to travel uh, to the Phoenix track now for the first race actually of the season so uh, the first thing we got to do is select a sponsor. I'm going to go with Camping World because we're not going to finish 7th or above. I can tell you guys just straight up right now, we got the worst car in the field. We're probably going to finish uh, the what 23rd and 24th for this race. So uh, we got the parts. Uh, we don't really have any other parts. So we're just kind of stuck with this stuff here. Um, now as we're going to fit those, I guess, or no. Okay. So I think it's good enough to go. Maybe not. Okay. Fit parts. Autofill. I mean, I guess it's good. Looks good to me. Continue. Yeah, okay, we are good. Okay, so now we can go into the race. And you, here you see it kind of brings it up over to the North American side over there in the USA for the Phoenix Grand Prix. Round number one here, which will be at an oval, thankfully, now as uh, we're going to get ready for the first practice session, though. And we'll see what we can do with the team. All right, so we're ready for practice, and there's a thing here. So this is how the whole setup thing works. You got all of these different um, things you can do here with the ballast, the tire pressure, tire camber, gear ratios, as well as suspension stiffness. And you're trying to just get it within these green bars right here. And so far, we're already kind of doing a pretty good job of that. So you just kind of want to adjust everything. And like, do I know how to adjust a car setup? Absolutely not. But here we are. Honestly, like with that right there, I think Carl Edwards might be fairly happy with that personally. I could maybe just go a little bit harder there on the gear ratios and that looks pretty good to me. Um, so we're actually going to give him that right there. All right. Honestly, I feel like that could be a good starting point for Alex's setup as well. Uh, we'll put the soft tire for him. Confirm. So now we are ready here. So we can actually simulate session. I feel like we might as well just simulate practice. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We'll just wait to see the cars on track till the actual uh, race here. So we can speed up the time all the way to times 40 now as uh, the drivers will hopefully give us feedback here and there. I don't know. We're, like I said, we're going to be the slowest two cars on the field, unfortunately, for I don't know how long. Hopefully not terribly long this season. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit because we just got to spend a lot of time getting some upgrades for this team now as we're already halfway through the practice session now as you see Edwards actually peaked up there into like 19th place uh, which is a bit of a surprise but a very nice surprise of course now uh, as we have just a few minutes left to go Harvard currently up there on top of the board Larson in P2 but we finished practice and we weren't the slowest P20, P21 and P23 so we're gonna see maybe what we can do maybe we won't qualify last in qualifying but we're gonna get into qualifying and see what we can do all right, so we made it to qualifying here for the first race. I changed the setup. I guess like the more experience they get, you have to change the setup apparently. Uh, like it kind of narrows uh, the green bars down, I should say. So I've changed some of that stuff and we got uh, Alex and Carl both on the soft tire. So we're just going to simulate qualifying and hope that they can do something relatively good here. Uh, so far, they are terrible. Yeah, they are doing terrible so far. Okay, let's pause it. Okay, so uh, you know what? 18th and 20th would be way better. But we're about to see here. Okay. Oh, Edwards popped off with P16 right at the finish. So 16th, 21st in our first race. Honestly, I think we really nailed the setup. I think that's really what it has to do with. So setup, 
so far pretty good, especially on Parle's end. But uh, Kevin Harvick on the pole, Martin Truex Jr. in second place there. Um, and then obviously there you see Jimmy Johnson down in P15, not very good for him. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in 19th. But we got P16 for Carl Edwards, P21 for Alex Bowman. Very happy with that. Now as you see Harvick wins close fight in Phoenix qualifying. As we're though going to get going already for race day here. The objective 14th or above. So hopefully we can have a good run. I don't really know what to do with this stuff. So we're going to auto pick for both of them here. Our setup. We can change this a little bit more. Uh, I guess it changes every time it seems like. So we're going to adjust a little bit more on that. And then we'll get ready to go green. Alright, so I changed Carl's setup. I'm actually going to keep Bowman's the same. It looks pretty good and he seems relatively happy. Carl wasn't uh, the most happy. So uh, I think though we're in decent shape. And we're going to start off neutral and then uh, medium and stuff for the fuel burn and the tire conserving. So we're just going to start the race and see what happens here. So I'm very excited. There you see it shows the grid order. Harvick, Truex, Blaney, Denny Hamlin, row number two. Then row number three, we got Alex or uh, AJ Allmendinger. Kyle Busch, row number four, Kyle Larson, Eric Jones. They are all starting on the soft tire. Jamie McMurray, Trevor Bain, P9 and P10, P11, P12 is Logano, as well as Clint Boyer. Then we got Newman and Keselowski. A bit of a rough qualifying for Keselowski. There's you see Jimmy Johnson and then our driver, Carl Edwards. And then we got uh, Eric Almarola, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Dale Earnhardt Jr., and then uh, Bubba Wallace. Uh, and then we got Alex Bowman there, P21, Austin Dillon, 22nd. And then Paul Menard, who's retired in real life, uh, and then Chris Busher. So we got a retiree there in P23. I don't know. Is there any other retired drivers like Paul Menard here? I don't know. But either way, we're ready to get going here now. And it's 84 laps, and then we actually have the formation lap to do first. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to get this formation lap going. So Kevin Harvick, Martin Truex Jr., on the front row now as we're about to take the green flag for our very first race as what going racing now as they might not go green to the line right yep there we go we are underway okay let's get a look on how our team's doing bowman going around the outside of carl there there's a little bit of contact this is as far as you can zoom in so this is as close of a look that we can get right here to the uh cars now a big pack of cars right here actually carl p20 Bowman down to 22nd. It seems like we're fading very quickly though. See what's going on up front real quick. Truex and Hamlin P1, P2 right now. Okay, so now we still got Carl is dropping like a rock. Is anyone else pushing? Can we see if they're pushing and stuff? So we can click on Busher. Yeah, we can see he's actually pushing pretty hard right now. As Carl says, bah, no, anyone but Busher. Okay. Is Lowski in last right now? I don't think he's pushing. No, yeah, maybe he is. Okay, so we're just going to kind of ride it out and see. I think we're going to have maybe decent pace here today. So hopefully uh, we won't be too far off. Hamlin now leading over Truex. And then you see this big group of cars right here. McMurray battling with Blaney as well. Almondinger and Johnson's moving his way uh, forwards pretty quickly here. He's three wide there actually through turns one and two. So Johnson... Up to sixth place we're already like eight seconds off the pace by the way so um this is gonna be a long race for us i think all right coming to lap 10 hamlin under pressure from clint boyer boyer is actually gonna go by on the inside there and take the lead from hamlin they're gonna fight a little bit looks like boyer's clear though but actually bowman got passed by keselowski who saved his tires like crazy and now he's going a little bit uh so we're just gonna kind of keep doing what we're doing I think we're in good shape. We could maybe turn this into a one-stop strategy. And I'm looking at maybe doing that because we can actually put on another set of mediums, at least for Carl Edwards. Uh, so that would be very nice. And then for Bowman as well, we have another set of medium tires. And the life on that is 43 to 45 laps. So, um, But how much fuel? I don't know if we have enough fuel to get that far. We might not. That's going to be a problem, actually. So we might actually, no matter what, have to turn this into a two-stop race, I'm thinking. So Hamlin, right now, continues. He actually took the lead back away from Boyer. All right, so we're going to try and maybe turn these guys up a little bit here. Let's go and uh, push the tires a little bit more for both of our drivers, Bowman and Carl Edwards, and see if we can get uh, up a little bit higher. Carl's still in front of Keselowski, who is closing the gap, though. As you can see down here in the bottom left, you can see the gap 
the way it's going and whatnot. So you can see what he's closing the 21st. He is closing the 21st place and he's actually pulling now on Keselowski a little bit here. So hopefully uh, Bowman, is Bowman closing? 1.5 seconds, One point. okay, he is inching his way towards uh, Keselowski it looks like. Johnson just set the fastest lap, Boyer's back out front, he has actually a pretty sizable margin over Hamlin now. Using that draft, oh, uh, Edward says, feels good to get past, oh wait, what, he got past someone? He did, he passed Busher. look at that. Yeah, it's like a two-stop guarantee now, so we kind of have to push now. Johnson continuing to go at uh, the whatever car of Trevor Bain now. But we'll just kind of maintain what we're doing and see what we can do. Hopefully we can gain more time. Bowman's struggling quite hard though, so we'll see. Alright, we've made it to lap 19. And look at this. We got Edwards closing in on this huge pack of cars right here. Bowman closing in right on the back of Busher and he's going to pass him. So we are no longer in last place with Alex Bowman. He's happy about that pretty clearly. He uh, Carl just passed Kyle Larson. Boyer continues to lead. He has over a four second lead right now and is actually setting a pretty fast pace. Logano just got passed by Johnson for third. But Edwards is moving on up. I like what I'm seeing from Carl Edwards right now. Definitely good to have an experienced driver, of course, in the car. Look at this pack of cars. We can get up to like 15th maybe. It's Bowman though. He's all the way back here. And we're going to have to pit pretty soon as well. Uh, so we've got to keep that in mind. Oh boy, Carl's going three wide, makes it work. Good stuff from Carl Edwards, he's actually under the attack, but look at him go, he's going all the way around the outside. And just like that, 15th place? Yeah, 15th place for Carl Edwards now. And he says his tire degradation is really bad, I'm not getting the same performance, okay? Uh, it's pretty much uh, what Alex just said too, in a creative fashion. But Alex is just struggling so hard compared to Carl right now, who's up now to 14th. He just passed uh, Bubble Wallace and is continuing to move forward. So we're just going to keep the attack going because we're going to put on soft tires and then we're going to end the run on the medium tire. So he's going to run down Eric Jones as well. Bowman still just, he's just having a terrible time. Look at this, we are right on the back of Almendinger. He passes Almendinger as well. I think we can actually burn some feel here as well for Bowman, uh, simply because we might be pitting them before 12 laps, I think. So we're gonna burn their feel. So we got some guys starting to pit now. Carl's up to P11. We're gonna get Carl on the pit lane fairly shortly. I think we're gonna pit Bowman first, uh, just because he's running worse, so we might just bring him in. He is closing on that group but uh it's taking him a while now as carl's up to 10 to just do to the pit cycle now so we're gonna pit alex right away so we're gonna throw oh he doesn't have a uh okay so we're gonna put the best set of soft tires that we can on alex's car fill up the fuel tank of course parts um we're just gonna deal with that there and then a balanced pit stop so we'll bring him into pit lane this is where we're really gonna lose time is over the pit stops uh, we're gonna have to hire a better pit crew of course coming up now as Alex is gonna pit this time by and then we're gonna get Carl's pit stop ready right now so I'm gonna put him on that tire there the soft again and he does have one set of mediums which we'll put in on on the next pit stop to get him to the finish of this race hopefully all right so Alex into the pit lane Let's see how it goes for him. Here we go, okay. Tires going on. They're not in the best condition. Where's Carl? Carl is, uh, I'm not sure where Carl is currently. He's gotta be coming around pretty quick. Here he is, he's on the pit lane. So now we hope that Alex gets out of there. Oh no, okay, we're good. Oh, good timing. So Carl in. Alex just back onto the track right now. So not a good stop, of course. We don't have a good pit crew. So we're going to see how that really affects us now as Carl is still in the pit lane. He's finally going. Zero mistakes. Pit ranking eighth. Time good. I mean, apparently it was good. So 22 seconds is apparently not a bad time now as someone just ran into the back of Carl. We're actually a lap down now. I think 
something like that. We might be. I can't tell. Bowman though, all the way back here. So we're gonna push. We're gonna push this tire pretty hard um, because actually, 33 laps of fuel. So we need to get to lap 50 or so. so. We're gonna back it down just a little bit right now for both of these drivers, and then we're gonna step it up later. Almondinger is pushing so hard. He's gonna blow right on by Carl right here. Look at him go. Goodness gracious. Bowman, he is not in a battle with anybody right now. He's now allowed down. Now you look at first, all the way through 12th, has yet to make a pit stop. So Carl Edwards is going to be in a pretty good position here when the cycle is out, which really surprises me. He just passed Bubba Wallace, who just came out of the pit lane. Honestly, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna start pushing here with Carl as well as Alex. I think it's time to just push them a little bit harder. And look at Bubba right on the back of Carl. He's going to drive right on by here. There goes Bubba. Johnson and them have yet to pit. I'm feeling like they're going to, yep, here they come in right now. A bunch of them. So this is where things are going to cycle out, where Carl might, like I said, be in a top 10 position here in just a few moments now. As Alex, he's closing in on the back of Chris Buescher now, but uh, he's still having a rough race. Now as Carl... Still on the back of Bubba here. It, let's see. We can see if Bubba's pushing. Yeah, he's pushing really hard here uh, on the tires. And then he, he's pushing a bit there with the feel and whatnot now. As Larson's closing in a little bit now. As hopefully we're going to see where Carl kind of cycles out here in just a moment. Um, Alex not very thrilled with the tires right now. But he's just going to have to deal with it. Okay. Maybe. Oh, I see the temperatures and stuff. That's something I was unaware of. We're gonna have to change the strategy for sure there. Have them back it down a little bit. I guess the higher the temperatures, the more the tires, you know, wear and whatnot. Now it's Kozlowski's gonna pass us, unfortunately. Seems like the, oh, Austin Dillon's out of feel I just saw. That's weird. Oh no, we are dropping like a rock. Carl down to 18th. Sponsor objective is 14th and above. So I, I don't know if we're gonna hit that now. Oh, Clint Boyer just crashed. Safety car is out. Okay. We're going to bring Carl in immediately. And what lap are we on? I don't know what. Oh, lap 38. Oh, that is close. 47 laps to go. Actually, they can't make it. But we are so far down the order that we might as well just throw in another set of softs. We're going to have to pit again no matter what. I believe so fill it up 33 laps of feel so no matter what we will have to pit again so yeah we'll bring them in uh alex you're gonna pit too what happened to boyer though where is clint boyer oh no boyer in the infield out he is in trouble Can we pit Bowman still? I hope so. We're going to throw him on a set of softs as well. He's already in last place. I mean, why not? And sure enough, there we go. I don't know what the situation is going to look like. Safety car only. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing either. Oh, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Safety car is out and we are going back green now. Truex P1 Johnson second place. Carl Edwards moves up to 18th. Bowman... He is um, kind of the, the best Bowman can do is get up to 20th now because uh, they're all like trapped laps down and whatnot. So Bowman in for a rough day now as we're going to see though how Carl can do here on this restart. He is not looking good already though. And the tire temperatures are just skyrocketing. Yeah, okay. So we need to... I don't know how the heck we're going to actually deal with that. I was going to just burn the feel, I guess, just to give him something, but that's a bit of a problem. Same for Bowman. I don't know if it's because of the track grip. I really have no idea. But we'll see if we can just turn down the tire, uh, the, how much they're pushing the tires now. It's Truex is gone from Blaney. He's trying to run him down. Johnson to third in this huge pack of cars right here. Look at this. Oh boy. That is something right there. They're going three wide. Oh, I just paused the game. 
But look at this. Absolute calamity. Oh, uh, no, we're not turning it down, Alex. They are going at it right here. Okay. Edward's all by himself. Fires are slowly starting to cool down. Alright, Carl has run down. Paul Menard now, and he's going to probably blow right by him right here. Here we go. Oh, you can't get past Paul. Okay, there he goes. He got him. He got him. Oh, Carl says, eat my dust, Paul. Ha. And then Bowman is in a league of his own, not in a league that we would prefer for him to be in. But you see Martin Truex Jr. has an eight-second lead over now Kyle Busch. He is long gone as Carl seems to be turning it up a little bit now. I said Carl was turning it up, and now he just got passed by Paul Menard. <laughs> he says he couldn't do anything about it. I want revenge. I'm coming for you, Menard. Okay, how's Alex? He's just still kind of kind of vibing. He's about to go another lap down, actually, so very unfortunate for him. But hopefully, we can um, bring Carl in very soon, if we would like. And then we're going to bring him in probably on lap 60. Um... Something going wrong with Bowman, potentially? Says the engine. Oh, yeah, the engine does not look great. We could fix that for 35 seconds, or we could risk leaving him out. We're going to risk leaving him out, because we have absolutely nothing to lose in the first place with Bowman. But Edwards passing Menard again. Back up into 17th. 19th place of Almirola is closing the gap. That's slightly concerning. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Carl just crashed the car. How did he just crash the car? And all of a sudden, the only good driver we had going, or only driver we had having a good race is done. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna just pit then. 28 laps to go, we'll throw 33 laps of fuel. Might as well fix the car while we're at it for Bowman because um, he's, I don't even know what he has to lose at this point, but I think that is pretty much our race because what is Alex going to do? He's just having a terrible race. Safety car is coming in. Alex is actually on a lap of his own. So he cannot loot or gain any more positions. Obviously, yes, I'm aware of Carl. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. We have to look at that. Maybe I should have repaired the car. I don't know. But we are back underway in front of us here. So Bowman, like I said, can't do anything now. He's stuck in 22nd. So we're just really... Um, gonna just kind of sim to the rest of this race and see what happens here so lap 66 less than 20 laps to go kyle bush is actually starting to put a little bit of pressure under kyle bush right there he's looking but he doesn't quite have enough bowman let's just see bowman really quick yeah he's all by himself very unfortunate for him now is there we are gonna have a pass for the lead any moment speed it up just a little bit there goes Kyle on the outside. He might do it right here. No, he cannot. Truex is doing a good job defending, but there it is right there. Kyle Busch to the lead in the season opener here. On lap 69, by the way. Nice. So 10 laps to go now, and Kyle has like a four-second lead nearly over Logano. Truex has dropped down to third. And we got Eric Jones, Ryan Newman, Jimmy Johnson kind of a ways back. But it looks like at this point, Kyle is just going to run away with the win. All right, Kyle Busch coming to the final lap. Nothing really happened there. Eric Jones did move up in the second, actually. But it's the final lap, and Kyle has a 12-second lead. But it's actually Logano who just passed Eric Jones. And now Truex is going to maybe pass Eric Jones here on the final lap. They are teammates, by the way. So this could get interesting here. But Kyle Busch, he's going to come out of turns four to win the first race of the Motorsport Manager career. Logano, easy second there. Jones hangs on to third. Alex Bowman says we really need to be doing better than this. Yes, you do, Alex. Fifth place for Jimmy Johnson. And then you see the rest of the grid coming across the line as we're going to watch Alex here on his final lap. He's already finished, actually. Okay. So, yeah, he did He did terrible. Uh, we're going to we're gonna have to go to work here with the team. Carl definitely showed some potential. I think he got more out of the car than uh, what, like, I think the car is not as good as what Carl was running. So, we're definitely going to have to work on that. All right, so that is race over the GMA. Oh, yeah, so you actually have inspection, and we didn't break any rules, so we are good on that side there. But there you see 
everything there. So 22nd and 23rd, we didn't finish last. Carl crashed. Alex Bowman was three laps down uh, in a, a league of his own. He was he was just in a rough position. Harvick on pole finished down in 13th, a lap down apparently as well. So uh, very unfortunate for him. And there you, you see the point standings there. We did not get any points, unfortunately. And then, of course, we are the only team without a point as well in the championship standings. So very unfortunate as well on that side. So that really sucks. But we're definitely going to have a lot of work to do uh, here in the coming races. All right. So after the race, you see here the driver morale. Uh, Bowman actually went up and so did Carl. About the same. And then it shows like their stats here and their focus levels that have gone up in their relationship with the mechanic. It's better. So I guess the chemistry is better as well. We lost $140,000, which in my opinion isn't too bad. Uh, so there you see the podium, Kyle Busch, Logano, and Eric Jones. So uh, very good for them. And then of course the team stuff as well. So race number one of 30 complete. And there you see it shows the Xfinity stuff as well. Ross Chastain pulled off the victory. Ty Dillon's down in Xfinity uh, as well as Garrett Smithley. So they were the podium there. JD Motorsports up there at the top. Kyle Busch Motorsports actually is in there. JRM 7th now as we are going to save the game and then just kind of finish up this episode and see where we're going to have to go in the next race. So we have good drivers. We are the 7th best drivers on the grid, but everything else we are at rock bottom. So unfortunate how that went. Uh, we do have an interview to do. After the race, after his win today, we were wondering if he had any thoughts on Kyle Busch thinking of working with him in the future. I mean, let's be real. It would be incredible. Uh, I mean, exactly. I, I would love to I would love to have Kyle Busch. Oh, that's all. Okay, finished interview. Thank you. Um, so oh god, Carl Edwards part condition dropped 87% on average. Uh, Bowman for 43%, 55 hours of fixed time. So what other mail do I have? Pit crew review. Manager pick crew. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, work on that. So in the next episode, we're definitely uh, we're gonna get some more facilities going again, as well as we're going to keep the same drivers. You know, Alex needs some work. He's got more potential, so we'll see what he can do. We're gonna hire some new pit crew members, as well as we can maybe get another sponsor really quick. Though, let's go. I'm thinking, I like Old Spice. Let's go with that. Where do they? Where are they on the car? I don't even know. Somewhere. Either way. Oh, I see the logo like right there on the post. But uh, there you have it for episode one. And uh, if you guys enjoyed, you do know what to do. Should I continue this? You, you guys really wanted another episode. So we got another episode. Um, as well as we can see what's going on in IndyCar. Simon Pagano, he won the first race. And then we can even check out the IMSA stuff as well. Uh, which is really really cool there. So I, I really like this mod and yeah Like I said if you guys enjoyed you know what to do and I'll see you guys in the next one for race number two at the Phoenix Road course So it's gonna be a fun one there. So yeah, see you guys later. Have a good day everybody